Good morning, you guys. It's Crystal from the Abundantly Blessed Homestead, where we use the wisdom of our ancestors to make amazing, nourishing meals for our family and grow awesome food. Well, I'm coming to you early in the morning. I'm going to be making pina colada bread. Um, and so it's grain-free and just uses honey as a sweetener or maple syrup if that's what you choose to do. So let's get started. Okay, so the very first step is actually preheating our oven to 350 degrees. Okay, first ingredient, well, I should say, today I'm going to be using my canned pineapple zucchini. Um, I will include a picture of the recipe to do this, it's in the ball canning book. Um, I, I uh, reduced the sugar by half in that recipe, and I will include it right here for you guys. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and read you the recipe because it's actually a handwritten recipe, and I don't know if it actually did come from a ball canning book or not. So obviously it's this little brief um, message is not gonna include how to can this stuff. Um, so anyway, this makes about eight to nine pints of canned pineapple zucchini. You will need um, four quarts of shredded pineapple, uh, sh shredded zucchini. Mm. Uh, you need 46 ounces of canned unsweetened pineapple juice, one and a half cups of lemon juice, and this, it calls for three cups of sugar, but I'm pretty sure I got it down to a cup and a half to two cups of sugar, and I used organic um, sugar, so, so, so anyway... You put all of this, you remove the seeds, you shred the zucchini, you put all the ingredients in a saucepan, you bring it to a boil, and then you simmer it for 20 minutes, and then you go ahead and fill the jars, and um, you need to process it in a water bath canner or pressure canner to your altitude, okay? That's all there is to making canned pineapple zucchini, or like I said with this recipe, you could just use canned pineapple. Okay, so now that is out of the way. That's what I'm going to be using is my pineapple zucchini. You could also use like a crushed pineapple or even pineapple chunks. So this is what we're going to be using. So the first ingredient is one cup of, this is, I'm going to use zucchini. So zucchini squished out, with all, all the liquid squished on out. So let's see what we can do. This is just essentially zucchini that's been canned along with pineapple juice. And some sugar, and it and it makes the pine uh, the zucchini taste exactly like shredded pineapple. It's a good way to use it zucchini from the garden. Okay, so there we go. There's one cup of zucchini that most of the moisture has been removed. And then I'm going to go ahead, and there's still pineapple juice inside this jar. I'm going to go ahead and put one teaspoon of it in. Okay, so the next ingredient is four eggs. These are going to be a little bit runny, just as a forewarning. These are my eggs from, um, that have been water glass for going on almost a year. So <laughs> the yolk begins to get rather runny at this point. Four eggs. Next ingredient is three tablespoons of honey. I'm going to estimate this. You could also use uh, maple syrup. All right. Or you could get honey all over the place. That's an option too. All right. We need one mashed banana. Obviously you want it to be ripe. So I'm just going to add it to here and we'll mash it with a fork. one tablespoon of coconut oil. I'm going to see if this coconut oil is, oh, it is melted enough. Yay! If it's not, if yours is not melted, if it's too cold at your house to have yours be soft and melted, go ahead and melt it on the stove. But mine is nice and melted because of our nice wood stove in here.
Okay, the next ingredient is half of a cup of coconut flour. soda and we need three quarters of a teaspoon we need half of a teaspoon of salt now this is going to be a pink salt colored salt um, pink Himalayan salt sea salt healthy salt and then the very last ingredient <coughs> Gonna go into this. It's going to be a half of a cup of uh, coconut flakes. Okay, so we need to take our our red pan here and we're going to get it greased by using lard, your choice of lard, coconut oil, butter, tallow, any healthy fat that is a solid at room temperature of 70 degrees. We do not want to use things that are liquids at 70 degrees. Those are not good things to heat up and bake with. They are great things to make uh, salad dressings and other non-baking items. Okay, so in it goes. Okay, we're shoving it down into the pan. And this is going to bake at 350 degrees for 45 to 50 minutes, and then it'll be done. So I'll bring you guys back when it's done. Okay, so here's the final product, the pina colada bread. You could also add, I forgot to mention earlier, a teaspoon of rum. You could add to the, the batter before you cooked it as well. I personally did not choose to do that. But there is the bread, and then also I made a double batch and made some muffins as well. Uh, the this size batch will make 11 muffins um, Don't expect this to rise too much. It is a grain-free recipe. So um, it is a rather dense bread just like a banana bread All right. Well, that's all there is to it you guys. Thank you so much for watching Don't forget we do have live cooking shows every Tuesday night at 5 15 p.m. Right here on the channel um, In order to get to that you're going to go ahead and search abundantly blessed homestead on YouTube when you click on Abundantly Blessed Homestead, then it'll come up as a live video. It doesn't automatically uh, appear in your feed right now because we don't have a thousand subscribers. So if you have not subscribed, please do so. Once we hit a thousand subscribers, we're going to do a giveaway. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.